And welcome to another exciting episode of Pop Dust Presents. This time we've got Evan with us. What's up, everybody? I'm Evan. That's Evan. This is Brent. Yeah, yeah. I'm and Brent. And we're just popping dust and hanging out. Uh, <laughs> popping dust? I don't know if that I sounds right. I'm not sure, man. I don't know what the kids are calling it these days. You know, methamphetamine. Oh, I don't know what the you know what the slang is. Yeah, uh, but slang. yeah, dude, it's an honor to have you here. I'm, uh, I'm super glad to be here. You just had an EP come out very recently called I Past did. 100 Days or Past 100 Days. Past 100 Days. Yep. Past 100 Days. I that's did. a that's a really like uh, like intriguing name for an EP. What, what what's behind that? Um, the the whole EP is kind of it's kind of like a status update of like my life kind of in between when i drop my first ep the finally ep yeah um so it's kind of like just the time in between that um because like just a lot of stuff happened um i was on the road touring a bunch um just a lot of stuff happened and i wanted to give just like the fans kind of like a status update into my life and that's what past 100 days kind of that's how it was born that's awesome. Yeah, because you just had you had another EP. I guess was it officially your first solo EP that came out yeah. earlier in the year, and yeah. around like January, the finally. Yeah, the finally EP. Yep. The finally EP. Do you ever just call it the final EP? I just I don't know. I just call it finally EP. Okay. Oh. Maybe the the finally EP. I don't yeah. Like to add the. It's great that the first one was the final one. It was. It's good to start at the end. To You're kind of, tra- kind of time, time traveling. Now we're doing the past 100 days. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of travel going on with, with my projects. Past 100 days, PhD. PhD. Are you thinking about grad school? Oh, I didn't even catch that. That's kind of tight. Right? I was like trying to, I was looking for hidden messages in this shit, man. You just, I, you just found one that I didn't even know that I put in there. And then I'm thinking, what if the follow-up is future unlimited nights? Fun. Okay. We'll work just on think it. about it. I'm just we'll work on it. So yeah, just just think about that. Okay. Uh, what so was it? Fun. It, uh, future unlimited nights. Future Luke. unlimited and nights. Just, and okay. the fact that PhD is in your, you know, what I mean, P- then, PhD for, is for fun. Hundred days. Yeah. And then fun. Is, uh, yeah. I don't know. There's some. There's, an there's a lot of ideas going on right kids. now, y'all. We like, have a great positive message. We've got something rolling, and but I now like you can it. tell people you have a PhD, and then you can be like. And it's fun uh, to have one of those, yep. those future unlimited nights. Yeah, something like that. Now, speaking of the future, your music is very contemporary. It seems like you're working with producers and stuff that are thinking about the future of music and where mm-hmm. it's heading. Uh, how would you describe your sound? Um, I would describe it as like, you know, it's, it's definitely pop but with a lot of you know hip-hop influence yeah like growing up hip-hop really like it wasn't really in my household a lot and um so i think that's why i've kind of always been drawn to it yeah just like just that whole world and um yeah like i've i've always tried to integrate you know the hip-hop aspect of things into my music and um like now like like hip-hop is pop yeah like it is pop music now like hip-hop is the new pop so it's like i'm just kind of you know hopping on that wave and and it's hip-hopping on that wave i'm hip-hopping on that wave baby and to the uh (laughs) to the future of oh kicking tables and everything i mean you're going from you know singing to rapping to singing on the album and obviously you have uh you for a while now had a reputation for being an awesome vocalist. You were uh, a finalist on American Idol, I think. Yeah, yeah, uh, a long time when I was like 15. When you were that 15, was fun. that's crazy. Yeah, yeah so like, that was that was fun. Um, when I yeah, was 15, like, I, always, I was like an American disgrace. So I was nowhere close <laughs> to an American, American Idol disgrace. Yeah, and I didn't even make it to the finals on that show. No, but like music, um, vocal wise, like I've I've always. I've always been like a singer, you know, yeah. like it's it's really just recently that I've started to kind of throw rap into or like, you know, those just kind of cadences like into my music. Um, Cuz like I grew up I was like a I was a musical theater kid, like hard out, like did theater, um, you know, like whole dancing on stage and costumes and different wardrobes and stuff and like that's where, you know, I like I thought I was going to go to school to do theater and everything and then 
you know, I, I tried out for American Idol, and then I was kind of introduced to, like, the music industry, you know? You know, Tupac and, went to a dramatic arts high school. I like a Shakespearean focus, like, oh, that's, yeah. That's, he did, like, plays he, and stuff yeah, in high like school. The, the way that he writes, he's, he's more, he, he's like a poet. Yeah. Like, if you just read his lyrics, like, without, you know, without him, like, rapping them and doing it, it, it's literally just, like, it's a poem. And, like, yeah. so that's, that's tight. Like, I didn't even know that. Yeah, he yeah, went he, to, went, he went to, that, that to, makes sense to like, now. A, like, that yeah. makes sense. Am I going to be on the Eight Letters Tour? Am I going to be on the Eight Letters Tour? The Eight Letters Tour. Um, I, I will keep you guys updated on that. Um, what is no the Eight Letters Tour? No comment right now. So this, this band that I, that I tour with and work with called Why Don't We? They're like you mentioned them some, earlier. Yeah, they're some of my best friends, and um, I've been touring with them for like all of this year and for like the most part of last year. Um, I've been with them for like two years now, just like working and spending time and hanging out and touring with them. And um, they just dropped their album Eight Letters, and uh, they're about to go on their their huge tour next year. So I guess fans are asking if if I'm gonna if I'm gonna go and open up on that one as well, but I'll keep you guys what are updated. You, what are you no, thinking? no comment, no comment. I'll keep you guys updated on on that whole situation. They've got the Evan fan page, which is uh, yo, they go so hard. Like and they're asking uh, what you miss most about being home. I think they mean being away from home, because or what, what you what I'm, do you miss most about being home? What I miss most <laughs> about being home. Being not home. Being not home, but home. Um, I just miss, I just miss like my my mom, dude. Like I'm such a mama's boy. I just miss like getting a hug from my mom, and like that's the most adorable answer yeah, we've ever like, received. Like, <laughs> we just broke a record. And just like hanging out with my friends and just being able to like relax. Um, I went home like a couple weeks ago for like the first time in like six months. Like I hadn't been home in a while. And um, God, it was so so nice. Just got to relax. Like I had like a, I I was like barely on my phone at all. It's the first time I'd been able to just like step away, kind of like be out of LA, but like not working. Yeah. You know. So it was it was such a nice like change of pace from because I grew up in Cincinnati, Ohio. So it's ask. like completely okay. different than you know like in New York or LA, and um, it's just super low key and like yeah. not in the fast lane or whatever like, yeah you know like what i do on my time off there is i literally sit in my backyard have a fire hang out with my friends and just like relax and spend time with my family i i love committing arson with my friends it's one of the most relaxing things you can do dude literally that is so funny you said that because somebody committed arson like against me like at my house against you like straight not I, well, I don't think they weren't like out to get me but my house was one of the house so like in my song that's all right I talk about like my car just got burnt down last week but that's all right so yeah I thought maybe like you were you were uh you know smoking a lot in the car or something <laughs> no no this lady was riding on a bike going around North Hollywood and um, she was lighting people's stuff on fire and lit the trees in, my, in the front of my house. Like, we have these tall, skinny pine trees, and like, you yeah. know, it doesn't rain in LA, so every, it's like a dry yeah, desert. Don't, don't like, you guys already have enough like, natural fires? Dude, literally every time I leave LA, like, uh, like a huge inferno happens, like, or there's like an earth, there's like, there was just an earthquake. Like I've been waiting to experience like, an earthquake for so I feel like God so doesn't long. want you to leave. You're like, every time I leave, no, well, the I don't ground think, I just shakes. think God just doesn't want me to get in with all that natural disaster stuff. That's which is, true. I'm not mad at it. Like, thank you for looking out for yep. me. But I want to experience earthquake, dude. Like, it's not a joke. Yeah. Like I want to feel like the ground tremor or, nuts. or something. Yeah. But um, but yeah, this lady set my trees on fire in my front house, what is and she what? it melted the whole back of my car. And now, and what sucks too is like, so I had a Fiat. It was like a little Fiat 500, like a little stick shift. I was just zip, zip around L.A. And um, when I first moved to L.A., I stayed in a city called Barstow. Like right, okay. it's like an hour outside of L.A. And I didn't know that like you should not stay there. Like. Horrible Man. place to stay. stay Woke there. up, and um, the hotel was like, "Do you own a Fiat?" And I was like, "Yeah." They're like, "Oh well, all your stuff just got stolen." 
like they busted my window open. Yikes. I, I literally drove three days like to get to LA to like move back out there. Like I had all, packed everything I owned like into my car and they stole like everything except for my jeans and shoes. Stole my underwear, my socks, which was super petty. Like that pissed me off. Like more yeah, than and what were wrong like, with his jeans and shoes? Why? Like they yeah, were good enough for you. Yeah, like I had I'm like sure some nice shoes right that I had like saved up for. Like I was like, obviously this person's an idiot and had no idea what they were looking for, but stole all my recording equipment. I mean, I was a like Yikes. I was being lazy and left my bags in my car. Like I shouldn't have done that. But Never still, did it again. Now I'll you brought your bags it. even on your album cover. You're carrying your goddamn oh, luggage with yeah, you. Dude, you won't I, let it go. I literally, they're I, like, can you put that down for I, the photo shoot? You're like, nope, nope. nope I will I'm carry sit my on shit around all the time. Like that's that's actually a pretty interesting connection. <laughs> dude, I was so salty, but I just had to get over it. Cause it's like if I would have dwelt on it and like worried about all that stuff, like you just can't worry about that type of shit. Like yeah, you just no, have to move you on got and like realize that everybody's got stuff that they're going through everybody goes through stuff and like at the end of the day that's true everything's gonna be all right like some, that, so that's like kind of what the song that's all right's about everybody goes through stuff some people go through your car when you're sleeping yep and, and steal everything and that's all right, that's um, all right. I think, <laughs> and and hey guys if you're watching don't you know steal who you are. and you don't know who you light are. don't light people's cars on fire. Just like give it's us, just give his stuff <laughs> back. All right, all right. Send it to the Pop Dust headquarters. Please. I'll make sure you get it. Thank you. Um, just forward it to me. Yeah, yeah. I'll I'll, I'll forward it to you. Uh, I'll send it as like an email attachment. Tight. You got Gmail? Yeah, or yeah. Dropbox it. Uh, Throw it in a Dropbox. It. Dropbox it. So yeah, guys, return it. And the fire lady that she was on a bicycle. Yeah, just like the, the opposite just, of a paper boy. Yeah, just like, yeah. <laughs> Read all about it. We're Let's trees. light this tree on fire. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice car. Let's fucking light this one on fire. Like, Jeez. yeah. Wow. L.A., come on, you guys. Yeah, City man. Angels. Love L.A. Come move out. <laughs> You're more than welcome. And as far as your 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 influences with the hip hop, I was wondering, because you, you bring some melody into the rapping as well, and I feel like maybe there's a little bit of Big Sean in there. A little maybe? bit of Big Sean, like, Definitely Drake. Um, Drake for sure. Chance the Rapper. Big fan of the show. Shout um, out to you, Jersey. <laughs> oh, did you get to see him live? I didn't. I was so mad. Oh, okay. He was right here, but uh, Samit uh, of, of our team, he, he was there at, uh, no way. at MSG. Dude. I was uh, super jealous. If I get to see Drake and Amigos live like that, will be my... Oh, it'll I'll, happen I'll now. I'll quit. I'll Drake, quit everything. And Drake I'll, I'll just be and, content and, with life. And Migos, you guys, they're they're big fans. If you guys just uh, hook Edmund up, I mean, come on. He had everything stolen out of a Fiat. They <laughs> yeah, like, damn. you know, they <laughs> took everything. And 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 you what would make out. me feel better is if I get tickets to your show. So. Yeah, this is like we we got it. We got pop this land's got to know. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, somebody who could who could hook me up with tickets. Oh, and then uh, so okay, so so some Drake for sure. Drake for sure. Chance the rapper. Um, man, Travis Scott, Post Malone. Of course, of course. The, I, I feel like those would be like like the four, the four top you know influences right now for me musically. I listen to the 1975 a bunch too. Yeah. Like a lot of alternative music. Awesome production. Um, so I try just and pull like from these different influences and like inspirations that I have like from different artists and kind of try and integrate it, um, you know, to make Eben's sound. Well, that's awesome. And people are, are loving it. We got some more questions on Twitter for oh, you. Oh, boy. Uh, a Maria on Twitter asked, will you go on a solo tour? Um, yes, I def like that's the goal. Like that's the goal for sure is to end up going on um, like a solo headlining tour. Like that would be, that'd be a dream come true. Anan, I hope that's how we pronounce your name. Anan? Um, yeah. Uh, on Twitter asks, can you please ask Evan about Asia? Does he miss Asia? Because fans in Asia already miss him. Can't wait to Dude, see you again. I please come back to Singapore, Evan. Yo, Singapore. This is serious. Right. First of all, yes, I miss Asia so so much. Like he misses we it. got so Singapore was actually the first country I ever went to like outside of the states. My best friend moved there like he was there for like 3 years, ended up going to visit him and um 
real good friend Dude. moves away to the other side of the world, leaves you hanging. <laughs> I know. You never even left the country before. I know, right? right? Um, I, I think he was trying to. He was trying to get message. away. Exactly. Yeah. He was trying to get away from everybody. That's all right. But um, hashtag that's all right. <laughs> But <laughs> anyway, dude, like Singapore is the most, it is the cleanest country I've ever been to. Like, well, yeah, it's like against the law to chew gum. Yeah, like if you spit on the ground, like they'll cane you. But it's been, tight because it's super clean. So, so it's like, like, and people are so respectful. Also, where are and, people like, getting canes? They're polite. Are they like old timey police officers? Dude, Daniel, like, one of the Rah, one Shane, of the members. Don't spit on, our, <laughs> don't spit on the ground, Shane. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Daniel in the group. Why? Well, he literally bought a cane, like in Singapore. Is and this it, like, it has like, like, like a like, pimp, like a pimp cane. cane capital of the world? Yeah. Uh, Go to Singapore if you want to buy a cane because they're actually super tight. But this man literally bought a cane. In like, oh, you have to. He's still in Singapore. He's, you know, he still has room. it. He has it. It's when like, pizza's on the table, you got You got to do it. Yep, exactly. All right, and that brings us to I think I'm gonna take you into a into a speed round of trivia real quick. Oh, just God. To prove I'm so bad at trivia. Because right, on, online you're Evan official and. You know, I don't know if this is officially. You look like him, you talk like him, you sound like him, but I don't know. We need that. We need actual proof. I need it. It's like Ronald Being Reagan is not said: enough. trust but verify. Yeah, so we need to verify. Here's a few true and false questions, real quick. Okay. Uh, oh, you God. were a finalist on American Idol at the age of 15. True. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your first dream was to be a pirate. True. True. Okay. All right. It's checking out so far. Um, this one. This one. You'll you'll answer. Uh, you reference this famous anime in your song. That's all right. Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Way yo. He knows his lyrics, folks. <laughs> uh, true or false? The song Sideways is about learning to drive. True and false. True no, it's and false. false. It's false. It's false. Sometimes I was gonna try and really stretch it, but no, it's, yeah, it's not. He's gonna give us some alternative drive. facts, and then <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. Uh, finish this sentence. Old McDonald had a farm. E I E I O. Correct that again. Right? You're doing. Yeah, that was Dude. really good. <laughs> that, that was like. That was like, like. Oh no, I'm about to like embarrass myself. No, no, you got the E, the I, I, and the O. That's at least like half the vowels. Yeah, that was good. E. Uh, it is. Let's go. <laughs> wow. So okay, everything checks out. How have You've the past 16 now. days been for you since the EP came out? The past 16 days. Um, I haven't slept, but I did the math. I'm loving. I'm. I'm. I'm on cloud nine, honestly. Like, I'm so happy that people are loving this project and like. It's and nine minus sixteen is seven, and which seven, is a, seven days are in a week. And you're maybe going on the eight letter tour. It's a conspiracy. It's just a, it's it might be the Illuminati. I don't I, know. I just popped my dust, dude. I mean, a lot, I, of, like, a lot of dust being yeah. popped over here. Yeah. They want to know Daniel no no he had to buy it if he would have stole it he would have got caned <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah i mean if you steal the cane you get caned you get caned with the cane you tried to steal that's it's, how they it's, that's it's called how you cane, cane yeah double cane double caned <laughs> next single might be called double caned double caned now like everybody a Darth on the, Maul now, cane. now everybody on the Yo, yeah, for real. I just, I just, yeah, I went there. That's kind of hard. All right, everybody. Kinda hard, right? Um, all right. Let's check out Edmund's music. He's got the new EP. Go get the EP, everybody, and let me know if you like it or not. Please. And if you don't, just lie. Yeah, because cause that's fine. Because, you know? Yeah, you don't need to keep it real or just anything. Just don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. Don't tell mom. All right, thank you guys. And uh, we'll, we'll see you soon. Love you all. We are out of here.